Ever since ChatGPT dropped, AI models have gotten insanely powerful. Dozens of upgrades, smarter responses, better reasoning. But AI apps using these models haven't evolved. They still spit out text. Pieces just changed that. Instead of boring text responses, your AI apps can now generate adaptive UI on the fly. Buttons, forms, interactive components all created dynamically from model outputs. And no, this isn't ChatGPT's apps feature. This is completely different. In this video, I'll show you why Thesis is a game changer for AI apps, how it actually works, and how developers can start building with it. To actually understand why it's going to change the way users interact with AI apps, you need to understand the real problem. When you are building AI apps, the pain isn't the AI model, it's the UI that you need to build around it. Every time your model output changes, all your hard-coded components break. When you add a new use case, you're back to rewriting new code all over again. Most developers fall back to text-based chat interfaces because they're easy to build, but they are painful for your users. And when your model returns structured data, tables, lists, forms, or anything other than simple text, you need to write glue code that renders the model's output properly. C1 solves this by acting as middleware between your AI model and front end. It's a generative UI API that turns raw model output into interactive UI in real time based on that specific use case. C1 works with any LLM and it's compatible with UI frameworks like the Versal AI SDK. It adapts to any form factor while matching your brand's design system. To actually build apps with it, you need to know how C1 fundamentally works. Your backend sends the model's response to the C1 API. C1 figures out what UI components to generate based on that response, whether it needs a table, form, chart, or something else. It sends those instructions to your front end as JSON. The C1 React SDK takes that JSON and renders the UI in real time. The SDK handles streaming updates, error boundaries, state management, and integration with custom components. C1 also also supports tool calls. Your model can pull data from APIs or databases, and C1 will automatically render the structured results with the right UI components. If you already have an AI app and you want to integrate C1 with it, it's actually pretty easy and it'll just take two steps. First, update your backend endpoint to point to thesis. Add your thesis API key and pick your model, like GPT-5 or Claude. Next, install the C1 SDK and update your app's logic to render and display interactive UI components. Remember that I told you about the different frameworks that can be used with Thesis? I went ahead and created a new project using the Versal AI SDK, with Thesis C1 already integrated through our setup. Now as you can see, this is what it actually came up with. All of the components you see here, this chat right here, are provided directly inside the C1 SDK. If I go ahead and read it, instead of giving me just text, it's going to give me this interactive component that welcomes me, gives me some options, and asks what I want to do next. As you can see here, this is how the UI becomes even more interactive because it will give you different options on how to proceed. If I ask it to go ahead and create a dashboard, it's actually going to send that as a prompt. And you can see that we get an interactive dashboard with different windows inside it. And again, think of the use cases that are possible with this. You could completely change the user experience you provide to people with your AI apps, all because your apps are going to become much more interactive and adaptive with C1. Now, I've already mentioned all the different forms forms of UI it can generate, but it truly is pretty amazing when you actually see it in action. It also gives you these small options and user fields inside its responses so that when you submit the form, all of that information will be sent into a prompt alongside the submit form button. Again, emphasizing that it's going to make the experience much more interactive. I also built a Claude skill for C1 so that I could easily give my AI agent the context on how to build apps with it or integrate it into my existing AI apps. It had all the documentation links so that it could easily fetch the relevant information. This is how AI apps are going to look and feel in the future. And since this was such an amazing tool for your AI apps, we reached out to them and you can actually get up to 5 million free tokens if you sign up using our link below. That brings us to the end of this video. If you'd like to support the channel and help us keep making videos like this, you can do so by using the super thanks button below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.